Good evening, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Good evening, Father. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let us welcome each other in the celebration of this Eucharist as we get to give praise and thanks to the Lord Jesus. Let us prepare ourselves for this celebration. Let us call to mind our sins and our fault. In time we have failed to be faithful to the Lord, let us turn to the Lord and ask God for forgiveness. I confess to you, Almighty, Almighty God, God, and, and to, to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have, I have done, done and, and in what I have failed to do. To do. Through, through my, my fault, through, through my, my fault, fault through my, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore I, ask, I ask Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of good will. We, we praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore, we adore you, you, we glorify you. you. We, give we give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, o God Almighty Father. Father. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take, you take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a falling world. Fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those who have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns to you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Spirit came into me and made me stand up, and I heard the Lord speaking to me. He said, Son of man, I am sending you to the Israelites, to the rebels who have turned against me. Till now, they and their ancestors have been in revolt against me. The sons are defiant and obstinate. I am sending you to them to say, The Lord says this, Whether they listen or not, this set of rebels shall know there is a prophet among, you, among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response will sum. Our eyes are on the Lord till he show us his mercy. Our, Our eyes, eyes are, are on, on the Lord, Lord till, till he shows us, us his mercy. To you have I lifted up my eyes, you who dwell in the heavens, my eyes like the eyes of slaves on the hand of their lords. Our, Our eyes are on, are the, on Lord, the Lord till he shows us, us his mercy. Like the eyes of a servant on the hand of his mistress, so our eyes are on the Lord our God, till he show us his mercy. Our, our eyes, eyes are, are on the Lord, Lord till, till he shows us his, his mercy. mercy. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. We are filled with contempt. Indeed, all too full is our soul with the scorn of the rich, with the proud man's disdain. Our, our eyes are on the Lord, Lord till he shows us his mercy. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. In view of the extraordinary nature of these revelations, to stop me from getting too proud, I was given a thorn in the flesh, an angel of Satan, to beat me and stop me from getting too proud. About this thing, I have pleaded with the Lord three times for it to leave me. But he has said, My grace is enough for you. My power is at its best in weakness. So I shall be very happy to make my weaknesses my special boast, so that the power of Christ may stay over me. And that is why I am quite content with my weaknesses, and with insults, hardships, persecutions, and the agonies I go through for Christ's sake. For it is when I am weak that I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise. Alleluia, alleluia. The word was made flesh and lived among us. To all who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to his hometown and his disciples accompanied him. With the company of the Sabbath, he began teaching in the synagogue. And most of them were astonished when they heard him. They said, where did the man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been granted him? And these miracles that are worked through him? This is a competitor, surely, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph, and Jude and Simon. His sisters, 
too, are they not here with us? And they would not accept him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is only despised in his own country, among his own relations, and in his own house. And he could work no miracles there, though he cure a few sick people. By lay his hands on them, he was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, many of us have chosen to follow Jesus and serve Him, but by giving ourselves to Him in service, especially in the church or even outside of the parishes. But serving the Lord is not always easy. This was the case of the prophet Ezekiel and St. Paul in today's scripture readings. They face the same struggles and experience of rejection, opposition, and apparent failure in their mission. My dear friends, Jesus too was not spared of rejection in his ministry. In the light of what we see in the lives of great leaders, we must come to realize as well that they remain great leaders despite rejection, not because they were successful in their ministry, but because they were faithful. The measure of success in the eyes of God is not whether a leader can bring people to conversion measured by numbers. The success of a prophet is depend on his or her obedience to God's word, not on whether others accept the message, whether they listen or not, is the grace of God and the cooperation with His grace. My dear friends, we only have to do what the Lord asks for of us, each one of us. So, my dear friends, we must not allow rejection and opposition and failure to keep us from, from serving God, even despite of being even the one give up our faith. We must not forget that we are serving God, not men. This is what St. Teresa of Concata, or we call it Mother Teresa, who reminded his missionaries. What the Lord is asking of us is faithful, not successful. So like St. Paul, we must keep our conscience clear, do our best. Indeed, failures, weaknesses, and persecution keep us humble. This is God's way of reminding us that it is His kingdom that is is bidding, not ours. We are doing God's will, not our own will even. So my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, St. Paul see his weaknesses as strength indeed. It was his limitation, whether physical, material or opposition from his enemies that make him rely God's strength and not his own. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, God does not always remove our weaknesses, but He promises His assistance and divine providence and power to strengthen us each day. When we are weak, God fills us with His power. Only His strength can empower us to be effective 
and give our work lasting value, resulting in the real transformation of hearts. And so, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, at the same time, our weaknesses will demonstrate the power of God. It is not our own strength that we accomplish His, His work. It is God who has given us this strength. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, so let us trust in the primacy of grace. Only those who believe in grace will pray with faith and fervor. And today, my dear friends, it is God who gives us this strength. And it is, it is God who gives us this insight and gives us the strength to be able to continue to do His work no matter how even difficult trialing is this man, in our life. So let us pray in this Eucharist and ask the Lord to, to strengthen us and give us the strength that if whatever mission he has called us, that it's, we rely on his strength in this world. God bless. So that as we stand with one voice, we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all, of all things, things visible and invisible. And I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, only the only begotten Son, Son of God, born, born of the Father, Father before Lord all ages, God, God from God, God light from light, light true God, God from true God. God. Begotten, God not made, made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, salvation he came down from, from heaven, heaven, and by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the faithful. God is very near us. He speaks to us every day in all sorts of people and essence. We pray that we may hear his voice as we say together, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For our Holy Father, that he may hear you, Lord, and that through him we may hear you. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May the governments and rulers hear and relay to their people your word of justice and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. 
For those who are ill or troubled in body or mind or spirit, we pray that you may say for them a healing word. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who have died. May they know your mercy and rejoice in your presence. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our intention and those who have asked us to pray for them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, help us in all we do and say this day. May the words we speak be hearers, bearers of grace for all who hear them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness of this bread to offer fruits of the earth and work of human hands will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, you will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, your mighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, praise and glory, glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name glorify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light, and so, with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as we now end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night he was betrayed, he himself took the bread and giving you thanks. He says the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he says the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Lord, we pray upon the oblation of the church, be recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed Apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Joseph, our patron saint, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion of merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, and they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her uh, peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of Lamb God. Of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. We are seated a short announcement. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, let's take note about this July masses. A few things we need to remind you. You can now only book five weekday masses during the each week booking exercises. The booking and the cancellation cut off time is now reduced to one hour. From the August, the month of August at the eleven thirty AM Mass will be open to 230 pack or 200 over, 200 over people, people, but restriction for those who are fully vaccinated. Please refer to the e-bulletin or the, the, the church website for more details. Lastly, is the please take note again, last week we announced to you about the, the scam of email. There will be, there have been a Reassertion of these emails, a scanned email to be soliciting assistant using under the parish priest's name, my name, and fix his, and his, uh, what is it in the email? Please, if you have received this email, ignore it. Or you want to have double confirmation, please call the office to double check again. For other information, uh, please refer to the e bulletin. So let us restand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed weekend.